right, we're here on the show. It's me, Hugh Sanders, here, and it's uh, Thursday, so it's Liquid Lunch here at that channel. It is, it is, and there's no competition here. Uh, in a sense, there's <laughs> no competition, uh, e e even uh, for our guest today. No, I know, and I'll slouch you. Okay. Just so I can be the same height. I just want to say we've got uh, Nora walks in spirit here, and uh, we're in no rush. I just figured it out, but this is the... Uh, we're talking about a gathering of crystal light souls, and uh, I think I know this guy. This guy right here. <laughs> right, Nora? Yes. <laughs> anyway, welcome. He's it's your great. twin. <laughs> He's my twin. <laughs> it's, it's great to have you here, and uh, I, I have a feeling that uh, we're going to have a very interesting conversation right now, um, because uh, this is uh, this gathering. I, I, you're presenting it and yes. uh, let's have a little bit of a background about you I mean I know you were telling me about the show you've got some Algonquin uh, shamanic uh, knowledge and some Peruvian uh, uh, shamanic no knowledge as well so give us a brief introduction then we'll get into why this gathering is happening why it's so important okay um, my own heritage is uh, my mother is Algonquin Mm -hmm. And um, her, her uh, family is still living on the Golden Lake up in the Algonquin Reserve, just north of here. And my father's family is from Sweden. But I have had um, developing gifts from a very young age of the shamanic energies within me. So I do have the Algonquin Eight Fire Rites, um, which once finishing that course after seven years moved me into going into uh, the Peruvian shamans and priests and those sort of things in the deep woods, the same as the, uh, the indigenous priests and shamans in the Panama rainforest, right. where they work, they actually um, communicate just through telepathics. So it kind of opened the door and using, using the higher mind. And yeah. so um, that I've been doing for a number of years and over the number of years started gathering in higher and higher beings, higher, higher dimensions. And um, what has happened as the planet has been shifting and the grids have been changing on the planet, all of a sudden I have a whole new network of... Uh, uh, species or beings that are now communicating with me from a higher plateau. So I had a, a, a message given to me uh, last year in November um, when I was in Denver, Colorado with uh, Shauna Ra, the crystal skull. Um, this skull speaks very, very high energies and activates your body and, and um, gave me a message that I was to have my own conference and to call it a gathering of light. And the gathering of light is actually your light crystals within your body. Wow. Now, and it's happening in Toronto, May 6th to the 8th. At uh, OAZ, the U of T. Fantastic. OAZ campus. Yeah, great. Yeah. So, so in deciding what you were, you were charged with the responsibility of coming up with this <laughs> event, mm -hmm. were you also told who to invite, or, or was that up to you to choose? Because you have a number of guests here. A number of speakers. I'm not. Are they yeah. are they speaking or are they yep. demonstrating? Or? Yeah, it's actually it, it's really a, it's really a good uh, story, I guess you'd say. I <sighs> I was at the, the conference in Denver and sitting with Shaw Nara, and then when they got the message, I mentioned it to Dr. John Ryan, who's a metaphysical uh, healer and medical doctor in Ottawa, who okay. just wrote the Missing Pill book. And, the missing uh, pill. We just got some of those in yesterday. Yeah. So he he was with me, and I said, Doctor John, you wouldn't believe what the skull told me. And he said, I'm in. If you have that conference in Toronto, I'm there. And as a speaker. Yes, because he does the DNA activations and and the bringing in the unity healing. Um, so. Um, I had, yes, he's on here. Absolutely. And Jason Quitt's a close friend of mine, and so he would always support and, and come along, and he works with the crystal energies. Yes. And uh, I know Jason. Yeah, yes. him and I do a lot of channeling um, in the dimensions together. Uh, and Michelle, of course, Norserini owns the skull, so she will be, the, she's the guardian. And um, Chris, uh, Lama Chris, um, actually 
has been wanting to get this crystal skull up to Toronto uh, for about six years. <coughs> and so um, when I was given his name, um, they, he said, well, this crystal skull, I'm going to be coming into to your conference because of this. So everybody seemed to just unfold. I myself didn't go out looking or picking or th thinking about who's going to be in the conference. They just showed up. They just showed up. They were delivered. Uh, the message came in after I had about four or five of them. Um, the messenger brought me a message that now you have the crystal light beings arriving. Because each one of these specific shamans, healers, light workers carry a very high vibration. And the energies that they're emitting is bringing in the higher grids from the dimensions. So it, it was not for me to try and ask, would you like to do this? It was right. their right. orchestration. Right. And I'm just going to mention Michael Moon is going to be there. Uh, who He's we a know. wonderful Michael sound. Michael Moon's like going to do the beautiful music, yeah, the, the big gongs yeah, and the singing bowls. Amazing. And Peggy uh, Kelly Davies. Peggy Kelly Davies is, um, does the, is a hyp hypnotist therapist, and she also works with Dr. Joe from the United States okay. in doing the neurological brain uh, training and moving you into higher state. And, and you got Abdi Electricité. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's like a, a, a very powerful faith healer. He will just move you into a different state of consciousness. Now, let, what? I just want to know, and, and specifically your role. What are you? Because you're also one of this featured yes. speakers. Yeah. I will be opening the the conference. Friday night is a open, free for all public. Anyone can go. Um, and I'm going to be just letting all of these different beings, it's their conference. They've given me that it's full house already up there. So I'm going to just let them bring in the sacred languages. They speak in different languages. Sometimes it's um, Lakota, sometimes it's ancient Hebrew, sometimes it's Tibetan tongue, um, sometimes it's uh, a very strong uh, harsh um, Tibetan language type of thing and sometimes it's very soft and gentle like a Kuan Yin they're very different languages that's Tiki. funny Kuan Yin was mentioned here at the station yesterday oh, yeah. well, and so here. was Michael Moon by the way yeah. so I don't know what that means but uh, maybe that means you can take this maybe, well, maybe. well Michael and and, and uh, I were talking the other day and um, we had uh, a very powerful, uh, it was, it, he, we were just sitting there, all of a sudden I saw these monks appearing, uh, etherically, of course, and um, they were swinging those um, golden incense things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and um, mm -hmm. there was a big gong going in the background, and then Kuan Yin came in, and they said they were gathering a very high, high celebrational uh, ceremony coming very soon. We were talking about this conference. So, so let's, I mean, uh, I want to get into the Crystal Skull. I, just, I'll t I first heard about the Crystal Skulls back in the 70s, like the yeah. early, early 70s. They yeah. had a big article in uh, Toronto Star's Weekend Magazine way back then. Yeah. And there's 13 of them, aren't there? Yes, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. nobody really knows where they came from unless you can tell us otherwise, but they're, they they're magical yeah. and uh, very mystical. And uh, very, um, There's um, a high intelligence that comes with them. I've sat with, with Max, uh, who is a crystal skull um, that was found, I believe, in in um, the Himalayas yeah. and uh, that skull is a is a crystal code carrier yeah. 13th dimensional crystal code carrier yeah. and when you sit with that skull you you, you get a lot of insights and mm -hmm. openings and you start time traveling um, and you get healings massive healings um, Shauna Ra is um, this is the one that will be at this conference yeah. in Toronto. And this skull is unbelievably powerful. Um, the Missing Pill, the book, was downloaded by this skull into John, Dr. John mm -hmm. when we were sitting with him with, with this skull. But when I talk to the skull or energies like this, they, they always show me with this particular skull, it's like a passageway that you're going through. And it's almost like a spinal column laying down, 
and inside it's all rainbow colors mm -hmm. and traversing through going into all sorts of uh, dimensions mm -hmm. that these energies of this of the skull and a lot of the other skulls carry high high vibrational information but the information comes in in codes mm -hmm. so not everybody when they sit with it is going to receive a message mm -hmm. depends okay. how elevated you are all right who keeps these skulls like who's the keeper who's the keeper of Sha Shana Ra? Um, Michelle her father was the original Oops. owner um, he was the original owner of the skull and went just before he passed on uh, she was with the skull all her life since a very young child and 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 her father said you will be the next guardian and does the same apply as well Nora, for other people who have found the skulls because you said there's yeah. 13 so people obviously it was planned for these specific they were chosen as I guardians guess. and yeah. so then is there a risk that someone's going to break into your home no and and these are very powerful it? powerful oh, okay okay uh, guardians they become a part of you okay so just nobody just, even can try no okay no. okay because you got the power of the crystal skull working for you <laughs> <laughs> right. now, the essence now so in a sense you were uh, uh told to to have this conference in a mm -hmm. sense or, guided, or it was yeah. guided to uh to put this together and why at this time why this particular conference at yeah. this particular time here in Toronto, and what do you think uh, will emerge? Yeah, um, the whole the whole gathering um, came through um, between the end of the year last year and in January. So it's not like this has been planned for a year. Mm -hmm. It just came in bang bang. bang bang like this, and the energies were about helping the people on the planet who are moving into the fifth dimension mm -hmm. and there's a lot of struggle there's a lot of uneasiness there's a lot of imbalancing and there's a lot of fear and so people are trying to find out um, you know what's holding them back what are the blocks uh, who are these beings what is going on how come there's so many uh, different sightings of, of, of um, these higher terrestrial energies and that sort of thing I know for myself when I'm um, moving into the higher states, I am being introduced and seeing a lot different spark energies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these uh, beings are, are essences stating that this gathering is to help the consciousness of the, pe of, of the people. So I asked, well, what is my role here? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they said to raise up the consciousness on this planet into freedom. And that I would to gather as many of the highest evolved light souls in one auditorium where their elevated souls will bring in other dimensional elevated souls and then create a, a, a oneness to move up and start releasing the blocks, in particular fear and imbalance in all the other teachers, healers. But it's, it's for shamans. Uh, sages, seers, networkers, highly evolved light workers. The ones that will come, that will attend, will just get released of their blocks because of the essence of these higher beings. So that's very cool, first of all. Um, now, you, you yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, you yourself, Nora, deal with many light beings from all over. Yeah. Did you want to talk a little bit about that? Because I have a feeling that, you know, maybe they... Are wanting to say something oh okay yeah yeah they brought me here didn't they exactly so <laughs> I'm thinking why don't we let them run this show because they're running this show anyway right that's right and in, in in that kind of manner and you're just the messenger correct like that's you're, right you're a transmitter that's right exactly and so is there anything that they would like us to know okay or, or that even we could do to help ourselves move into that state even before um, the event which is May 6th to May 8th, so maybe we can start doing something today. Okay. Me and it's you, it's you, Kuro Bariante, and Shukuro Maria Tirana. It's you, Shukuro Bariata, Antoranaya. It's you, Kuro, we are Tirana. We are not one. The end, it's you, it's you, Kuro Yet, and to Kuro Baria, we are many. Okay. It's you, it's you, Kuro Mayati, it's you, Kuro Mayati, we are gathering in dimensions and dimensions beyond dimensions 
دیگری شکر بیاتی هنیه شکر و آهار هنیه چنا. We have been sprinkling essences of light particles into the ethereal bodies of those light workers, of those evolved ones who are listening, and those ones who can see us are retrieving the higher essence of intelligence while in sleep state, meditative state, or operative state. We are coming in to gather these heightened ones to bring unity of a highest essence of love on this planet. It is for transcending the soul into a new evolutionary being. A new evolutionary being. Being. Okay. The gifts that have been held within your bodies are going to be awakened, ignited, and fully activated for you to transmit onto other grids and other persons and other kingdoms. We are coming to assist in the ascension of the planet and would like many to join this one. Is there anything we can do for people who are going to go to this? Is there anything people can do now to prepare themselves to be more open to receive on May 6th through May 8th? He's just saying, tell them to drink of the water. Drink the water? It's you need to really, really detox your body because it's going to be very, very high vibrations and high frequencies. So I'm assuming we mean good water. Like yeah. filtered water. Not Distilled, yeah. oxygenated. Yeah. Not Toronto tap water. No. Fluoride is bad. <laughs> really? It's good for your teeth, though, right? I don't think you need teeth like that. <laughs> <laughs> is it good for your gums? <laughs> <laughs> so what I find really interesting is when, I first, when you first came in and you didn't look at me, you looked beside me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do you do that a lot? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I'm I'm focusing on who's standing beside you. Okay. It's an, it, it, what happens now uh, for me is um, when I um, come to meet people, mm-hmm. um, their essence, especially when they're evolving. So your your energetic field within your inner mind, your intuitiveness is moving into a higher, higher intellectual state. When it starts moving into that evolved state, it creates an, an illuminated essence. Okay. And so I see the illuminated essence, and it becomes, uh, for some people, uh, when they become very in tune to channeling, per se, a silhouette or an image. Okay. So I see that being stand behind beside you and just kind of goes like this when I came up to you it bowed before you came in that's okay. I was bowing to you but it was bowing at me first okay so okay so that would explain why I kind of felt like the third wheel in that, <laughs> in that greeting okay interesting but okay. there's a lot of love yes yes the, the these light beings are very soft yeah they're not intrusive at all as people think, oh, there's beings here, they're intrusive, and they're not. They're particles of an essence. Well, and I would suppose if they're not part of this dimension, if they're fifth and beyond, it's really a place where there is more unity-based and not so um, harsh. I mean, yeah. the reality itself is very cohesive yeah. and harmonic, yeah. right? Well, I think this, the, the message that I got the other day, which was really... Um, kind of sewed it up for me was that the, the, one of the master beings came in and just said um, we are not the, in, in, in Chukuramani at the, the, the arriving in the, in Chukuramani at the, the, the in matter or in form in we are arriving in an essence of a formula of information. Mm-hmm. 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 So therefore, we're not seeing this, we are hearing this. We are not touching this, we are aware of this. So this is how you start evolving into a higher telepathic um, 
being, how the structure of your thinking pattern will start oscillating into these dimensions because you have no mind thought form of fear when you know there's nothing to see. You're not going to see a green mm-hmm. thing. You're not going to see a, a red-eyed thing or these greys or reptilians or um, Arcturians. They're, they're coming on the planet as an essence of intelligence Mm -hmm. in formats. That's why sometimes you get these holograms. Or those little light beings. You've got some pictures on your website. I don't know if we can show uh, we'll see if we can pull those up but those are actually photographs of some of these uh, beings, right? Entering, yeah. So I have Andromeda um, Syrian um, some of them are just golden essences and they they will just come in as spark beings and silhouettes of just shadows. Yeah, those are some photos we're looking at right now, right, Nora? Uh, yeah. That's not Photoshop. Underneath, just below, um, right there is just on the lake in front of my house at, around supper time. The sun is actually coming across the water, and there's these red red balls, and then and to sit there I I was sitting with my iPad and they were changing places like going like this it's very so then I knew they were communicating yeah. it's very symmetrical the way that that picture takes place it's they're very and there's a I have another picture where they're uh, it's just very gold and then the red balls are one two three one two three it's mm-hmm. almost reminded me very much of the crop circles I was just going to say that I was just going to say exactly that. the crop circles and then the movement was very fast wow. very okay neat. so Nora now let's um, let's just talk about this year 2016 I mean uh, it's almost every year right there's like a lot of paranoia oh the third world war is going to start or the aliens are going to land we got chemtrails we got uh, uh, f- fear of economic collapse and stuff like that what can you tell us about you know what might happen in 2016 and is this conference uh, somehow involved in maybe helping to ameliorate or or help us uh, and, get and over all this it's a preparation it's a preparation um, and um, I'm sorry if I jump like that. Yeah. It's sometimes when there's a, a, a master who wants to speak, he wants to be... It's, me first, it's like, me yeah, first. They're in line. It's like, <laughs> no, I'm next, I'm next, I'm next. <laughs> so it, it, well, the, the vibration jumps. Um, so um, this is one... This is just the beginning. This is one of many of this conference. And because many and many more will start gathering the light souls as we start evolving into higher dimensions and and staying out of our bodies in the grids longer, mm-hmm. and and our the grids in our body start meshing into higher crystal systems, uh, and so when you start getting into this state of awareness within your inner body and your outer body, you're not following the world and the fear and the collapsing and the financial institutions is it really is is not something that you want to connect to is you want to stay in a vibrant higher intelligent essence and anything that is required when you move into these higher essences of intelligence is 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 delivered to you it's manifested just like this conference coming together in not a year's preparation right in other words it's your focus your mind has to move into the back corridor and the higher essence of the higher soul starts blending and building and restructuring and repatterning a whole new format. We will deliver holograms of grids within the holograms. They will be breathing in this essence, the that will move them subliminally and delicately into a higher state of freedom of the mind. So what does that look like once we do that? Peace. Peace. You, you're, you're going, your body will be in a state of peace, de-aging, not decaying, rejuvenating. 
So will and it be a heaven on earth, Nora? Shambhala is coming. Is that you're asking? The Shambhala, Shamb- the place for Shambhala is already assembled. Okay. Uh, they've given me that. Uh, uh, Canada is is um, is the highest energy of the highest purest light. So we don't have all the the, the highest vortexes uh, like Giza mm-hmm. and, and Machu Picchu and Sedona, but we do have the highest layering of light. And this is Shambhala to arrive back on this planet is going to be nestling on a bed of white light. The Yachukurabaya, we have the great Canadian shield, which is very much like the eagle. Mm. In Chukurabaya, we have the essence knowing that the condor is coming to meet the eagle, and when that time comes, there is, will be a new world. This is the essence, again, of the white light beings coming in fulfillment on, on, in Canada. And, and, uh, the, there, there are many, many grids in these dimensions. Why are they picking our grid here in Toronto mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for Great this question. conference? Yes, uh, a lot of speakers don't like to speak in Toronto. They don't like the the energy, the, the gunky energy. They don't like to be in Toronto. They want to go into retreat lands north of Toronto or you know all different places, but not in this core. Yes, it's well, heavy. It's heavy. It's it's um, suffocating. Damp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like yeah. sticky damp. Uh, and so now they say, no, 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 no. We are going to clean this. This conference is going to bring a gathering of higher evolved souls, and their their essences and their beings will bring in and sweep and clear Toronto. Okay. And so, 2016, we are just getting prepared in our bodies, in our, the grids in our body and in our mind for the gathering which will come in next year. It's not going to be, uh, uh, what, what, do you, what do you just say, um, collapsing or... Um, crashing? Crashing and, war. and this war. It's, that war is, is, is developing in, in the minds and the thought forms of one particular collective consciousness but we can alienate that consciousness and move it into a higher state because we have all of these guys helping us. And it's really just about us and our focus, I guess, right? Your, your if we thought. focus on that, we might get that. But if we focus on something else, we can... Yeah, and if you're focusing, your your thought forms are are in a state of absolute oneness Mm -hmm. with Mm -hmm. this higher Mm -hmm. essence Mm -hmm. that's in the realms, then it's going to start projecting out of you. And you're going to have people that are going to want to be in your light energetic field. And the more we gather, the bigger the light, the stronger the thought forms will will move. And your focus won't be on that. The focus is going to be on, like I say, rejuvenating. Now you talk about Canada having this highest uh, light, light, light uh, something shield, shield. <laughs> yeah, the Canadian it? shield right across yeah. the Maritimes, right up across. Yeah, like I see it a lot of times when I'm traveling in in the ethers. In the, you can see the shield, the effect of the shield. Mm-hmm. Which I just is see it lay it out, lay out like this. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a um, a, a protective area. Um, He's asking me to tell you the vision, tell you the vision. Mm-hmm. It's okay, it's okay, tell him, tell him, tell him. I don't know. So the vision that I was always getting, and this is going back a number of years ago, at least 2009, is the middle of the United States right down to Texas area. It was cracking open, like cracking. And yeah. like separating, like the Mississippi opening up. Yeah, it's you know where like where Biloxi and all of this was going yeah. on before the the, the 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 heavy energy. And it was within the vision. They were droves and droves and droves and droves of people, and they were all walking all the way on this path, almost like the parting of the Red Sea. Mm-hmm. They were all moving up into Canada, yeah, leaving the states, and it was just dividing 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 and the energies was just sitting there nothing happened in canada yeah 
So if there was a falling out of the earth plates or anything of the tectonic plates adjusting, yeah. pulling in from the Gulf, pulling in from uh, over the Pacific, uh, anything flowing over abundantly from the Arctic around Greenland and everything, it's, it's all moving down, it's all moving this way. And this coming up like this from the United States and from South America, coming down from Canada, you have a diamond. This is the white essence of a high energy. It's just shielding you. It's like a crystal. Yeah. So, so we're relatively safe here. Now, you talk about yes, the cleansing. Yes, absolutely. You're talking about the cleansing of Toronto. Now, Toronto's uh, very close to the States. You know, we're very far south uh, relative to the rest of Canada. Uh, we're not that far um, above sea level, really. No. Uh, I think we're only about 70 feet or something. Yeah. Um, and we're on the Great Lakes. Um, so, is, uh, like, how's Toronto going to fare during all this? We need to have this conference. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have a conference every You're year. You're looking at it. There he is. And, and many of these beings are our are, are shield in Toronto. Mm-hmm. It's a grid that has to be cleaned. It's no different than cleaning the grid of the thought form. It's no different than cleaning the grid in the body. It's got to be swept clean. Who's going to do this? The gathering. Now, there are people doing this all over the world, right? We have yeah. light workers pretty much all over the planet. Yeah. Doing exactly the same or a building, similar thing. Building this, the, building this network because they're working with many all over. So it's good to know that it's happening all over to kind of, ba- again, balance the entire planet. Yeah. Not just balancing Canada, not just balancing certain parts of the world, but, but oops, just like I almost unbalanced this. Yeah, yeah. you know, the, um, I have uh, um, a group of people in Tokyo that asked me to come there and, and do some messages from the high beings mm-hmm. in a conference there. I have a lady actually from the U of T, uh, Noki, who's going to be there opening and uh she works with the decolonization in Africa, and there's a spiritual gathering mm-hmm. there. The university in Embu in in um, in uh, Kenya has sent me a, a letter request to speak in their conference um, to bring these beings in. So these are other grids of activating many many students, many many young people, and light workers that'll be there. That we're all keeping the web going energizing it yeah so when will this work be complete yeah when can we live happily ever, ever after well my goal <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> can we do it tomorrow yes we can in 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 our dream state <laughs> okay but let's, but let's start there Hugh <laughs> I'm already there but the thing of it is 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 it's all coming more rapidly it's not going to be 2040 2038 I, I believe it's going to be before 2020 Wow. Because things are moving that fast. You look at yourself, where were you six months ago in your own journey? I don't even remember. Right, because it's, you're living in the now. Yes, very much so. Whereas before, you would be planning, planning, planning. Right. Look what happened last year at this time. No, we don't think like that anymore. So, so your mind is already evolving into a higher state of... Totally agree with of that. If, if, if it's not important, I don't need it. How many people are purging their homes? Yes, yes. Because they're yes. realizing, yes. no, it's just, I just need what, what I need for today. That's right, that's, and that's enough. So that's gone on in only in the last uh, three years, maybe, not yeah. thirty years. Yes, but feels like three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> but quick question to that point, then, um, if, if it happens, you know, before twenty twenty, and, and that's just an arbitrary number. It could be, sure. you know, um, everybody's on their own uh, on ex- their own journey. Exactly. So, at that point, are we in a moneyless society? And this is really important for Hugh. <laughs> Don't worry. She's just to trying to hear. win a bet here. <laughs> Win a bet? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've, it's already won, right? It's already won. I'll pay with the it's money that we don't won. need anymore, okay, <laughs> if you win, all right? Well, that, w- that would be just like the Y2K when everyone said, oh, we won't have to worry about our finances anymore, right? right? Yeah. And so then the next one comes in 20, uh, and someone says, oh, well, you know, in March or April of 2016, everything's going to end, and there's going to be yes, money everywhere. Yes. It's like, 
why is everybody so concerned about the money when when really all of these gifts are within you to create it to create freedom so it's really about freedom it's okay. another block that you're stuck in the financial institutional block of I need this piece of paper to pay for this piece of paper to put into that piece of paper which I hand to the lady at the bank or the government or whatever. It's a paper trail. It's not even a paper trail anymore. It's just an electronic number that we don't even touch anymore. It's just a number that goes into a bank account. You just see that a zero and a one or one and a zero. Zero, 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 one. if, If there was no attachment to that, then it would always be moving without your even getting aware of it. It's no different... It's um, you you were always looking for a matter, a dense matter to be manifested in your hand child. Ask and ye shall receive. It is in the essence of the heart of the matter that it is created for you. It is the essence of the heart of the matter that matters. It's created. Okay. So you do it unknowingly when you think, says the issue could have oh, I haven't heard from Susie for two days. Your mind projects it, they get Susie and it's aligned. Right. It's the essence of the matter is created. Okay. In other words, Susie's going to phone you because she's, getting, it, the to, she's message. getting a message. Yeah. Right. And when your mind is always in that state of freedom, that it is only transmitting information and receiving information, then you will be transmitting to Susie, okay, come over to my house today. In that moment, she comes in the house and says, oh, you know, I don't know why, but I was told to give you $500 today. I don't know why, but anyways, here it is. This is part. So everybody is in the oneness of sharing and there is no struggle and there's no attachment to how am I ever going to pay this bill how am I ever going to do this what about my job what if they don't hire me all these things that younger people are going through mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and the light light minded children in their you know teenage years they don't have that thought form oh well I'll wait till tomorrow don't worry about it I'll get it tomorrow and they do so then in answer to the question, if let's say arbitrarily it's 2020 that this happens, either we will have a moneyless society or even if we don't, it won't really matter because we will never be without. Yeah, because you'll always be manifesting in, a, in an essence of telepathic freedom. Make sense to you? It does, but I think that means I win the bet. <laughs> I think so. If you, anyways, the moment you have a thought, Hugh, is the moment you are not. So that's the first problem, I, right? I, I, so that's what I will manifest. So you jump back into that <laughs> that box. <laughs> You're not, you, see? Uh, you jump back into the money box. <laughs> the money pit. No, no, listen. No, I know we're having fun now. Laura. Finally, we're relaxing. We got to maybe. Five ten minutes left, uh, so uh, you know. I hope you don't mind if we just keep having Tibbets. fun here and have, <laughs> have some good conversation. Yeah. I just want to ask you. Um, I mean, I, it's always fun, isn't it? <laughs> it always, even when well, it's intense, it's fun. Usually, um, but uh, it's that's really good news to hear about Canada. I mean, uh, feels uh, really privileged to be here. Uh, okay, I, I got a question first, Sandra. <laughs> um, uh, can you tell us about other parts of Canada? Like, w- w- where are some of the great uh, places to be in Canada as as we move forward? Uh, actually, um, I was um, drawn to go to Newfoundland last summer, and um, I didn't realize how beautiful that province is. I've never ever been, um, but they were showing me. Um, as I was taken on uh, sacred tours um, it's since 2012. They took me out to uh, do a gathering in Easter Island, uh, to Greece, um, to like the different areas in Greece and, and the mountain ranges, and then back over to Bimini, and then back over to Easter Island, and then Sedona. And they were just dancing me around Ireland, Scotland, England crop circles they were 
bouncing me all over in the last three years. Up until last year, they said, you need to connect all of these pivotal points and go home. And home is Canada. So they didn't want the me traveling because I was taking groups of people just bring them all home well it was just a few of us we went to Newfoundland and it was interesting was what I could see was a beautiful huge crystal diamond Mm -hmm. from the center of Newfoundland going right into below Newfoundland and it is an offset from the um, Atlantis so when Atlantis submerged, mm-hmm. a lot of the crystals moved up to that part of Newfoundland. The central part of Newfoundland. Underneath. Wow. And so even traveling across the land and going to uh, Gross Moor National Park, unbelievable energies, highest energies I've felt, and being in Cliffs of Moor and, and Giza temples and everywhere else that they've placed me, that was just unbelievable, that energy. That crystal energy of Atlantis and played in all of those places seemed to be just right in that Newfoundland. And that's when it sealed it up for me that, you know, that's the, 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 that, that St. John's area is the furthest northeasterly point on the planet mm-hmm. and it's on Canada, goes right across to the B.C. coast and they're giving me all the whales movement from Alaska around Canada and around over to Hawaii. They're connecting the grid's sonar waves with the mammals, and they're connecting it to shake these crystal temples. So everything's getting activated. You can't see uh, how much is being activated underneath the planet, under under the the countries, the grids, Um, but they showed me those crystals in Newfoundland, uh, also in northern Ontario, and out in in Alberta, for sure, Banff in the, in the mountains, and that connect to the Teton Mountains. So they show me the zigzag that goes across. We have more heightened energetic portals in Canada than we really realize. So mm. I don't have to travel the world. Mm. Yeah. How, how's Manitoulin Island? Dreamers Rock is is. Um, connects directly Uh, the signal came in very strong sitting in Newfoundland that we were connecting going across the ocean from uh, Nova Scotia going over that 15 hour uh, ferry over to Newfoundland the water area and the crystals underneath from coming up from Atlantis along there the, the, uh, the channeling on that ferry boat took me directly to Dreamers Rock which is on Manitoulin mm-hmm beautiful huge crystal rock and it it is sending a lot of signals so you have some of these rock formations that are sending signals um, to you know Machu Picchu uh, to the Giza temples uh, to the Sedona Panaki ruins um, to um, Fingal's cave was very much connected and aligned because it's right across the ocean from Newfoundland and Scotland and Ireland, the, those grids connected right again to that diamond pyramid. Okay. Now, some Crazy, the, um, eh? Yeah. Well, all, all, all well orchestrated, you know, all the very mapping, well planned. The, yeah. The mapping to, to sit back after I travel this and then sit down and then one night they give me this grid of this layout of where I was and how it shapes. And it, it must be very humbling because really you think, you know what? I have no control of this. I'm just, I'm, I mean, this is already done, and I'm just here to go from point A to point to connect the dots, I guess, in yeah. a way, and that's really all I do. So they just work through me, and I just go wherever I'm told. I'm speaking on, on your behalf. And but I'm there wrong. activating it. Right, right. A- activating and awakening those dormant sleepers in those, in those portals. Okay. So those megaliths that are laying there in stillness, I'm communicating and activating okay. them. okay. Okay. So, so to do all that traveling and to come back and find out that it, there's even stronger points across Canada mm-hmm. is so exciting. Mm. Oh, wow, very, very neat. Just one quick question, and that is you t- mentioned Atlantis. Um, now, are people who were living at the time of Atlantis back now doing some of this work as oh, yeah. some of the light workers? Yeah. 
Crystal carriers, crystal code carriers, crystal activators. Because they must be, in a way, um, um, the the connector as well. Because they were they're transmitters. Transmit. Okay. They're, they're transmitting. Okay. okay. Uh, there are a lot of those um, across all over the world where I've bumped into them. You know, my they carry crystals. They wear a lot of crystal beads, crystal bangles. Okay. They're very much alive and infusing themselves unknowing. I was just going to ask, are they aware? No. Okay. No, okay. but they are crystal transmitters. It's till the grids get activated and the uh, crystal beings that come in start communicating with them stronger and activate that crystal seed within the pineal. When that gets activated, then they'll step into that timeline again. And is it guaranteed to get activated in this life or maybe not? I'm sorry? Will it get activated in this life for them or maybe it will never be activated and they'll just continue to be these crystal bearers or will they all, will they all get activated? It'll be their soul's choice. Okay, I see. Okay. They will be given the activation and the, and, the, and the dimensional energy. It's what they do. Okay. 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 <laughs> now, we're just going to get to wrapping it up here, Nora, but I just want to remind everybody, May 6th to the 8th is a gathering of crystal light souls. There's the, uh, the poster. And uh, again, the website, people can register, can they? And, they, can, uh, they can register right away. Um, yeah. to, uh, and it's at the University of Toronto, OISE building. They can register online at iaminfiniteall.com or at the actual website page. Gatheringoflightbeings.com. Is it yeah. in the right. auditorium? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the the big auditorium. auditorium. So that's on the main floor. Yeah. Now, one last question, Nora, sure. before we leave. I just want to ask you, and because I know you're in communication with these light beings right now, is sure. there any final message or messages you want to leave everyone with? He, he just said, go to the light. <laughs> okay. Just to go to the light. Which means you're staying out of your mind. <laughs> okay, that's great. Okay, I'm going to bet. Thank Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go, another bet. All these are bets, Sandra. <laughs> bet you won't bet again. <laughs> and I don't mind betting now because I'm going to, as I said, pay you back with the money that we don't need anymore. That's okay, right. He just thinks he's so smart. <laughs> Anyway, Nora, You're thanks. very much connected, you two. It's <laughs> nice to see such connectivity. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, Nora, thank you so much for coming here today. Thank and you for having me. Thank you. Visit you. And thank you for, for gracing us. And thank you to the beings that you speak that speak through you and you speak with. And it was wonderful having them here, too, yeah. because the, the couch was full. Yes, it is. The whole building's full. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for them for being here. <laughs> yes. Great. So we're going we're gonna to just wrap up Liquid Lunch for today. But I just want to say to everybody tuning in right now, stay tuned. we got a great show. Uh, w- uh, Wellness in Toronto, I think it's called. The Whole Life Expo? Uh, no, but just a bunch of wellness things. Oh. Maybe some of these people will be at the Whole, whole Life Expo. But just stay tuned. Great so stuff coming up. we're all about up. raising vibration in every kind right. of way. Exactly. Right here on that channel.com. <laughs>